Concrete Column Video 3 Design The code EC2 contains three methods to design concrete structures with respect to flexural buckling. The general method and the simplified method stiffness method and curvature method. At the stiffness method an approximate second order moment is calculated with regard to the stiffness and at the curvature method with regard to the curvature. In the program the stiffness method or the curvature method is used according to the user's choice where the stiffness method is default. We begin designing the column according to the stiffness method. Since we activated link load cases, both load cases now have the same condition as mentioned earlier, but if this option not is activated, the input data has to be defined separately for each load case which deserves to be pointed out. We now chose calculate. And for load case ultimate 1, we obtain a result window showing that 13 bars with a diameter 20 is required by the stiffness method. The highest utilization is 0 0.79. The defined moment is 50 kN. The moment with respect to initial bow imperfection is 46.5 and the second order effects equivalent to 155.2 making a total of 251.7. The moment capacity is 317.5 giving a utilization of 0 0.79. In the other direction, the utilization is 0 0.38, while the biaxial control becomes 0 0.78. Moreover, reported slender capacity, meaning axial force capacity with respect to risk of flexural buckling and the corresponding allowable slenderness are displayed. Minimum shear reinforcement correspond to diameter 8 CC 400 mm. For load case ultimate 2, 11 bars with diameter 20 is enough, so ultimate 1 will be decessive in this case. If we as an example use the other method, curvature method, we again choose calculation settings, change to curvature method, and then calculate again. Apparently sufficient reinforcement for load case ultimate one is now 11 bars diameter 20 due to that second order effect only increases the moment with 119 kilonewton compared with 155 for the stiffness method previously. For ultimate 2 now only 10 bars is re required compared to 11 previously. The curvature method then becomes slightly more favorable in this case, but it is not always so, it can also be the other way around. If both methods are allowed under a country's annex, it is enough that the capacity is sufficient in any of these methods. With a tool compression zone, We can graphically see how much of the column is under compression. And we see in this case that the complete section is under compression for bending about both axes. Further, with the tool interaction dia diagram, we can see the position of the load points relative to the interaction diagram in each direction.